Theresa Kofi brings farmers plenty of uh, chaff and no wheat. Yes, the Environment Secretary. She leaves Birmingham with egg on her face. While it she endures a, well, the Brexit psychodrama. All praise the government of all the talentless. Oh, look at it this way, though. If Theresa Goffey can make it to the cabinet, how useless do the rest of the Tories have to oh, be to make that cut? Oh, I wonder. Well, proof is in the pudding. Or perhaps a Goffey has some singali like hold Ooh, on Richie Sunak, bending him like a flippin' pretzel to her every whim. Because, let's be honest, there's obviously no sign of intelligent life in the Kofi, no. She's at her most convincing, when she's at her most unconscious. Otherwise she's just sending her, well, her audience to sleep. Anyway, don't forget to boot the old light button and there will be a secret word at the end of this video. But the Kofi arrived on stage at the National Farmers Union, the NFU, conference in Birmingham. In the manner of someone who had pretty much zero interest in her audience, you know, the farmers. <laughs> and couldn't wait to get back on that train, all low-loader, to munch on another desperate Dan cowhorn pie. So let me be clear. She said time and again, in a manner of uh, something, trying to fend off the desire to pull out another well of yesterday's turkey legs from the darkest corner of her cleavage. Well, it stood there, vaguely saying, on repeat, Farming is about producing food. <laughs> I kid you not. <laughs> what? Kofi's a flippin' prophet. That she is. <laughs> well, but you can't buy that level of searing insight, can it? No. But it was the closest to intelligent life. Theresa Kofi could even muster up. Yeah. She couldn't even be asked to go through the motions of announcing some of the extra money for the farmers that had already been announced. You know, in a like, sort of Richie Sunak fashion, like he keep repeating himself, all oh, the money he keeps giving. So, no, it is his money, but it's not. It's your money, taxpayers' money. Mm -hmm. The least any, well, conference audience expects is, yeah, <laughs> well, from a visiting uh, government minister. I still can't get that out of my... I just, no, how can she be a government minister? Well... She had come with absolutely nothing apart from her sheer mass, except an Independence Day style shadow looming, wafting over all those farmers. It went dark, it did. Someone turned light, say. Things got even worse when the questions and answers began. As Kofi up the ante, she did, yeah. The border morphed into outright, well, outright rudeness. She can't help herself. She's a foul human being. And I'm being generous. Well, who cared if you couldn't buy a salad anyway? Hmm? All vegetables in the supermarkets these days. Well, so what? She don't worry about getting to the flipping veg aisle, does she? She eats it in the field. Well, <laughs> am I, am I, do I, is this, am I fat shaming? I think I am, and I yeah, I do apologise. Yeah. Anyway, let me continue. People would just have to get used to it and eat 30p, well, Lee, Tory turnips. Maybe gruel, you know. She couldn't say why we, well, why we have juicy tomatoes in the EU. No, not at all. That'd be blaming Brexit, wouldn't it? Yeah, that Brexit is an absolute unmitigated disaster. Yeah. And would it be so bad if some people... Got scurvy. <laughs> well, it was pointed out to her that the trouble was also, was well, the rising costs of heating, polytiles, etc. And Teresa, you're, you're Kofi, she sat there and yawned. <sighs> it was a bit of like a tremor, like in that film, Tremors. Well, Kofi then got into an argument with the <laughs> National Farmers Union president. I mean, it, Batty batters about the market failures in egg production. The minister shrugged. Oh. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> was she supposed um, the hens were on strike? I suppose. <laughs> Just about everyone else in the country was um, on strike, aren't they? Seem to be all at the same time. 
All right, batters. Yeah, no, I mean, the batty batters. She reminded Kofi that more than one million hens had been lost to avian flu. And some farmers um, had gone out of business. Actually, many have, in fact. If they haven't actually, you know, suffered with severe depression. Well, Teresa just looked at her watch. That's it. She had enough of that question. Said, did someone have another? And before anyone asked, it was, uh, well, all the farmer's fault it was. That the DEFRA website was, well, so inaccessible. You need a degree to get your way through it. Form after form after form. Stupid questions. But long before the end, Kofi was being loudly booed by most of the audience. Yes, the farmers are booing the Kofi at the NFU uh, conference in Birmingham. Not that the Kofi creature were particularly cared at all, no. She just sat there and took it. She probably couldn't hear it because she's like a giant, well, <laughs> acoustic baffle. <laughs> mostly, anyway, mostly total... <laughs> in outside I apologise, I can't help myself. <laughs> Mostly total indifference. It was um, as if the Tories had already given up on the next election. Well, let's hope that is the case. Well, the word of the day is Kahuna Burger from Pulp Fiction, because apparently they're made out of beef too. I don't know why, but I just, I just, yeah. I can just imagine a Kofi in a burger. Oh, maybe not. A bit chewy. Tough. Oh, my goody aunt. Calorific. Oh, dear. Maybe not. Anyway, the word of the day is Kahuna Burger. And we are um doing a rewilding here. But don't forget, boot the like button. We're doing a rewilding here in France. If you want to be a part of that, there is a GoFundMe link down um, below for where we're planting about a 1,000 trees on two hectares of land. And um, we've got about 1,400 in now so far. And I will be uploading some videos. It's a bit wet at the moment. Uh, you know, someone's asking about it the other day, and I was, I, it's just been well, it's been dreary now, and the ground is so wet. So I was waiting till it dries up a bit because we get wet feet, you see. Even with weddies, they sweat. Horrible. Don't like wearing weddies. No. Anyway, if you're part of that, there's go for me. <laughs> find me link down below in the description, and um, basically we'll plant a tree on your behalf if you want to make a, a contribution, and uh, we'll put your name with that tree. Or it might be a memory of a loved one. We're making bat boxes, bird boxes, etc. Because it's a rewilding project. It's for the animals, you see. That it is. Can you hear the birds? I think we're encouraging them somewhat. And the hoopoes are, are back. Pecking on our windows in the mornings. Well. I do like the countryside. Ta-ta. Remember. The words of the day. Kahuna Burger. <laughs>